My favorite moment during the High Holy Days is always on Rosh Hashanah during Shofarot. This is when the sounding of the ram's horn reminds us of the Akedah, the binding of Isaac. We must know the true significance of the ram caught in a thicket. We recount God's call on Abraham to sacrifice his son, remembering that Isaac was the only beloved son of Abraham with his wife, Sarah. We're reminded of God's mercy and the supernatural provision of that ram. We dwell on God's plan for our lives and we recount the sacrificial provision God made for us. As I've previously mentioned, the shofar is the horn of a ram. It is a tool of the season to call us to teshuvah, repentance. Jewish people hear this sound on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. The blast is to stir us, just as one wakes up in the morning to the familiar sound of our cell phone's alarm. When we hear the sound of the shofar, we should come to repentance. The correct usage of the instrument requires three basic notes plus one variation. Tekiah is one long blast. Shivarim is three short blasts. And Teruah is nine staccato blasts. Then a variation known as Tekiah Gadola is heard, climaxing in one extended long blast. When the shofar is heard, we are called to think. We are called to reflect on the condition of our souls. 